The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is the recently announced third and final installment in the series of games by CD Projekt Red. My name is Stally111 and let's have a little look at what we can expect from The Witcher 3 as a whole. The game is scheduled to be released on the 24th of February 2015 on PC, PS4 and Xbox One, and it will be set in an open world, unlike the previous games. The game will also be built using the new Red Engine 3. The game's atmosphere is set in the aftermath of the events of The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. The plot combines several storyline elements, with the two main ones being Nilfgaard's invasion into the Northern Kingdoms and Geralt's own quest to eliminate the Wild Hunt. This will be the grand finale to The Witcher trilogy, so I recommend you catch yourselves up on the previous two games. The world is in chaos, the air is thick with tension, and the smoke of burnt villages. The fearsome empire of Nilfgaard has struck again, ravaging the hapless Northern Kingdoms. The once mighty who tried to use Geralt for their own gain are now gone. In these uncertain times, no one can say what fortune holds in store. Who will bring peace to the world, and who will cause it only misery? But a force much, much darker and deadlier emerges. The petty men and women commanding tin-plated armies fail to understand that their conflicts is child's play compared to the wild hunt, the otherworldly threat which now looms. These ghastly spectral riders have for ages plagued humankind, bringing misery to the world. Yet this time, the wild hunt seeks one person in particular, the one individual destiny itself bestowed upon Geralt, the one soul Geralt considers kin. The game is fully dynamic and has extremely realistic lighting. Visually, the game looks amazing, but time will tell if it plays well. The game will include an abundance of side quests to keep you occupied in between the main story, but most, if not all, of the side quests are linked in some way to the main story, and how it develops. And remember, the choices you make do matter, unlike for the most part in games like Mass Effect 3. The vast open world is 35 times bigger than the playable areas in The Witcher 2, and even more so in the first title. And it is a very diverse and fairly dense world with multiple ecosystems and cultures that you, the player, can interact with and move between at will. And you are free to explore the whole world without any loading screens, except the one you enter the game with. If you want me to talk more about the story, plot or lore, and stuff about the previous games, do tell me in the comments below. And the same goes about anything else, if it is more about The Witcher 3 or upcoming games. So, are you excited for The Witcher's finale, or are you just started playing the previous games in the franchise? Tell me down below. My name is Stally111, drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. See you guys on the next one.